That's right, claims of rigged reviews. We uncovered some that look fake and others which one restaurant owner says are real but get hidden. Here's what you can do to make sure you're getting the real review before you buy. It's affecting me. It's affecting my staff. Michael Vi is fired up over a two star Yelp rating at Vi's in Naperville. He says too many of his good reviews are being bumped down to this shaded area. You click on that. Called not currently recommended. I'm sad about it. You know, all my hard work. Vise says it does not pay for Yelp advertising. However, they do purchase Yelp ads for their other restaurant, Fire and Wine in Glen Ellen. That restaurant with four and a half stars, they say has fewer positive reviews in the not recommended section. I'd like Yelp to better express the metrics that they're using to either push reviews down or show reviews. Yelp is fighting back, telling the I team that Vise appears to be trying to gain as many reviews as possible, as quickly as possible, likely by asking for them rather than letting reviews accrue organically. Yelp says that Fire and Wine has been receiving reviews for about eight years, and its recommended review ratio is right in line with the average for all businesses across Yelp. This has nothing to do with advertiser status. Vi says all reviews are truthful and incentive free. A lot of restaurants have their wait staff tell customers, put a review on Yelp. Yelp says overall it has loudly and repeatedly warned businesses against soliciting reviews, which its software may catch. Our recommendation software is looking for reviews written by people whose opinions, positive or negative, we feel are helpful and reliable. The company says it makes the software difficult to reverse engineer, and while it may be tough to decipher how it works, the rules are the same for every business and every review, regardless of whether or not they advertise with us. There are a lot of legitimate reviews that have been filtered that are worth reading. Online reputation expert Jack Lombardi says fake reviews are also a problem. There's a percentage of reviews that are online that aren't true. They're just not. The I team found several suspicious Google reviews connected to suspicious profiles. She's getting her dry cleaning done in Sherman Oaks, but she's getting bats out of her house in Texas. Some of those reviewers raved about one local phone repair shop called Technophone, yet they had no pattern of reviewing other Chicago area businesses. So three of these reviewers went to the same home repair services shop in Naples. Two of them went to the same dentist in Beverly Hills, California, and all of them went to the phone repair shop in Chicago. So we showed a Technophone manager what we found. I mean, I honestly don't know anything about this. I would have to talk to my boss. We do have a lot of local people that leave really good reviews. We even have them on our Facebook pages. After we alerted Google, some of the positive Technophone reviews were removed. Google says users can flag reviews for removal. And in May, we updated our automated and manual techniques to better identify Google accounts tied to scam efforts. We also updated our policies so that when we identify Google accounts tied to scams, we're better able to take action, whether it's removing the accounts from our platforms entirely or limiting their capabilities. What's the best way to spot a fake review? The best way is if it lacks details. So make sure reviewers describe the specifics about their purchase or experience. Inspect their profile to see if they have a pattern of leaving thorough local reviews. You may even want to read reviews in those not recommended sections. And speaking of that situation, Vice says that its situation has improved. It now has four and a half stars. So good for them. Just like that. I'm sure they appreciate it. It happened. That. Yeah, absolutely. Very good advice. Excellent story. Thanks so much, Jason. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.